Hey folks, Ian Robson here with Fishing Experiment. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm canoe fishing in a writ lake. I'm not even sure what the name of this lake is. I looked it up on the map and I have no idea what it is. So this would be an experiment of canoe fishing by myself. Um, it is currently 7.30 in the morning and there's no one on the lake. It's gorgeous. It's so calm out here. I've been using a little of my jitterbug. I just got a hit, short strike. We're going to see if we can't get a couple more of those and maybe we actually get a fish on and that'll be fantastic. Oh, fish on folks. Right. Oh, nice. Fish on. Guess what it is? Nice little northern pike here. Nice. Let's bring it over here. There you go, folks. Oops. Well, one second. We'll just get it, pick it up over here. There you go, folks. Nice little small little northern pike. I don't want really one big ones. Not really prepared for the big ones, but there you go. Nice little northern pike here. Small little guy. Get him back in the water here. There he goes. Nice. Sweet. At least we got one fish. <laughs> I was a little worried we weren't going to get any fish. So I'm just, I'm just in this little weedy patch over here. And uh, I'm just using a, a white spinner bait here. I'm actually going for largemouth bass, but I think maybe smallmouth are more, uh, a bit more apparent in these areas. I don't know for sure. Um, I haven't ever fished this lake before, so I'm happy I caught one fish, to be honest with you. It's one of those scenarios where you're like, well, hopefully I catch one fish, because this is the first time I've ever fished this lake. I've never fished it before, so I wasn't sure where the good spots were. So, I just came over here, because this looked like a weedy area, and I thought there might be some largemouth bass. Turns out there were some pike, which is equally okay. That was a nice small little pike. I can handle those ones very easily. If it were a bigger one, that would be a different story. Uh, I'm not really prepared for the bigger ones, that's for sure. Like I said, happy I caught one fish. I felt it nibble up the, uh, the skirt, and then it hit it, and that was it. I need to find where the smallmouth are at here, though. I think they would be in this kind of area, but in my mind, I should be looking for rocks. I don't see any obvious rocks. This is where finding good fishing spots is always interesting because I can see where all the points are right now. But all, This lake has a lot, a lot of weeds in it. So it's hard to decide well, where, what's a good point, what's not a good point. I don't have any kind of uh, fish find or anything like that. All I have is Google Maps. Which can give you a good idea of where to fish basically. And this is the reason why I'm using a spinnerbait, because in these areas back in here, there's lots and lots of weeds, so... A chatterbait could work for some scenarios, but uh, given the fact that uh, there are so many weeds back in here, a spinnerbait's a better choice just because it comes through weeds a lot nicer. Oh, fish on, folks. Oh, what do we got here? It's like a nice little bass. What kind of bass is it? Ooh, a little largemouth bass. Well, that's good to know. Wasn't sure if there was largemouth bass. Got off the hook, but that's okay. Just switch over to the Berkeley Gulp Minnow here. See if I can uh, diversify my species. So I got two so far. I don't know if we can count that one or not, though. But it's good to know that there's largemouth bass in here, too. I figured there would be. Um, just based on um, just based on what I'm seeing out here, and northern pike it doesn't surprise me either. There's tons and tons and tons of weeds. I expect there to be smallmouth, but this is pretty weedy, so maybe there won't be as many smallmouth in there, in here. Like I said before, I've never fished this lake before, so I'm just kind of going off what I've learned from YouTube, strangely enough. So I'm trying to hit up some points here that I see. Trying to go for some rocky areas that I can see. Trying to point out, look for some things that are different, that aren't just the same. So like when you're looking for like the weeds area, for example, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go for a different area with the weeds. So something that stands out. I can see some little bluegill down there, but they're not uh, taken. This air might get fished a lot, I don't know, but the fisher seem a bit uh, 
leery about the lures, which is uh, interesting actually. Because I don't, because this, this lake doesn't even have a name, that's what's kind of interesting about this. Like, for example, if you fish in the Rideau Canal, like everyone goes by the Rideau Canal. And there's tons of boaters, for example, tons of fishermen. But here, I don't know what the deal is here, because I, I, I looked on the map and I didn't even find a, a name for this lake, to be honest with you. It's, it's cottage country in the end. It's not like uh, super remote northern Ontario stuff, but it's more cottage country, so that's why it's kind of a... Perhaps that's why it's unnamed. But it's very interesting, to say the least. I haven't seen any smallmouth. I'm looking for... I want to see if I can catch maybe a smallmouth. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, fish on, folks! Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh my goodness. What do we got here, folks? What do we got? Oh, I think this is another big, a bigger pike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, nice. He's pulling all right. Nice. Nice little pike. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is why I put the leader on, folks, actually. <laughs> I have a metal leader on today, just because of this. Easy, easy. Easy. Nice little northern pike. There you go, folks. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, that's okay. Bent my <laughs> spinner bait. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you saw that, folks. Like I said, I didn't realize how many pike there would be in here, else I would have brought my net, too. It's one of those things, I don't catch pike very often, so I'm a little, uh, always a bit hesitant to, like, how to handle them, so. But there you go. I'm the little white spinner bait there, folks. As Leo Shang says, it's not always just about the fishing and catching the fish, it's about enjoying the outdoors, which is what I'm definitely doing today. It's the first time I've had a chance to canoe and I don't know how long. Reminds me how much I miss it. Used to do a lot of canoeing when I was when I was uh, in Cubs and Scouts when I was younger. Now I don't do so much of it. When you live in the city, kind of makes it a bit. Uh, well, in Ottawa it's not that bad, honestly. But when you live in an apartment building, canoes aren't really easy to store. So here's a little point over here. It's kind of a little different area. I'm going to try and. Toss my lure around here a little bit and see what happens. This area kind of sticks out from the rest of it because it's like a little island of weed, so we're going to see what happens. Oh, there's some rocks over here too. Oh, fish on, folks. Oh, it's a bass this time. Nice. Nice. Right at the boat too. Nice, look at that. Big chunky largemouth bass. Let's get the get that set up there. Nice. That's a chunky, chunky largemouth bass. Oops, nice little largemouth bass, chunky. Thought it was a smallmouth when I got it. There you go, folks. Nice. So I was just fishing along this uh, weed line. I'm just letting the wind take me down here. And the reason why I'm fishing at this particular area is because uh, this is where there's like a there's like a lake behind me and there's like a like a river coming into the lake, so kind of at this mouth. So that's why I decided to go right there. There you go, folks. Last look. Get it back in the water here. Ready to go. Nice. So there you go. There are largemouth bass in here. It's the first one I've caught. Well, the first decent one I've caught, at least. So it's good to know there are some in here. I don't know if you can see that fruit up there, folks, but it almost looks like a bald eagle. I don't know if it is or not, but... I only say that's because it's got a white head there. If it is, that's my first bald eagle I've ever seen. I don't know if there's bald eagle in Ontario, but it looks like one. We'll go with that. All right, folks, just caught a rock bass. I was in this little area where it's a little bit of a rapids. And uh, look at the size of this rock bass. I thought it was a smallmouth bass, but it is a enormous rock bass. Absolutely just a monstrous rock bass. That is awesome. That's definitely my PB rock bass. No question about it, folks. 
no question about it. PB smallmouth, or smallmouth, PB rock bass. It's an old guy too, let's put him back in the water, give him a little bit of air. There you go, folks. Last little view of that rock bass. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put it back in the water here. There he goes. Gorgeous.